Hi, this is Involve in Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see abstraction with real world examples in Java. The real world example which we are going to take is television. Abstraction. Abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details from the user. We will expose only the functions to the user. In Java, abstraction is achieved using abstract classes and interfaces. Like a class, the interface can have methods and variables. Prior to Java 8, methods in interfaces are declared as abstract by default. That is the method can only have method signature, no actual implementation. But from Java 8, interface methods can be abstract or default or static. But a method can have only one of these three. Important thing to note here is all the abstract method and the method only declared as method signature without the method body need to have concrete implementation in the implementing class. That is the subclass. Or else the class must be marked as abstract. Abstract class is a class which can have abstract method and can't be instantiated. This is very important. Both interface and abstract class can't be instantiated with the keyword new. Interface can be created with the keyword interface followed by the interface name. Here I am giving the name remote and declaring the method only with the method signature. No method body for these methods. So these methods are abstract by default. We can create a class named remote and mark it as abstract and write only the method signature. Here we need to specify it as abstract. Now we can't create object from remote interface and remote abstract class with the new keyword. An analogy for the abstraction is television remote. The remote only provides the functionality names and the way to access it. The information makes easy for the user to access without knowing the actual implementation details about it. The remote can have the button to change the channel, to increase or decrease the volume or to switch on or off the television. The real implementation of these buttons are embedded in the television. This is just an interface for the television. This is called as abstraction because we don't have any logic in the remote. All the logics to perform these functions are written in the television. In the television class, we need to implement the interface or can extend the abstract class. One key thing to note here is implementing class must have concrete method for all the abstract method declared in the interface or abstract class or else implementing class must be marked as abstract. If an implementing class extends another class and implements an interface, the extends keyword must come first followed by the implements keyword. Now we can create an object with the new keyword for the television class and assign it to remote interface or remote abstract class. Now with this remote television object, we can call the power switch increase volume or decrease volume and can change the channel. To summarize the abstraction, abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details from the users and providing only the functions to the user. For example, table of contents in book is just an abstract information. When there is object oriented programming book, it is essential to discuss about this six hoops concept. But the content can vary in each book. Here the table of contents is a interface or abstract class and the book is the implementing class. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and share to your friends. For more technical videos and videos on artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, internet of things and java concepts and programming interview questions, please subscribe to this channel. Please leave your queries and the comments in the comment section.